There you are. Good morning. Welcome to Zen Fits, where everything fits, or it doesn't. Okay, let's get going. Uh, the title of this talk is, uh, This Apple Juice Cannot Be Canned. <laughs> so you guess where I'm going to go with this. Uh, I've been talking about the themes I've been talking about, if you follow me, uh, is uh, myth metaphor and movie and then a specific movie uh killing eve but uh we're really talking about uh, movies great movies okay uh movies are myth and myth is metaphor so they're really uh movie myth, m m m this the three m's movies myth and metaphor uh that we're working with and the reason and, and my source awakening on this basically is my reading of Joseph Campbell since 1970. Every 10 years I read his works. <laughs> so anyway, uh, being 86, I read them many times. But the, the awakening of Joseph Campbell is the awakening of living myth and living metaphor and living movies versus canned myth, metaphor, movie. How do we... Okay, so. You know, and so the metaphor here is applesauce. Uh, this apple cannot be canned. And the apple, of course, now is the apple in killing Eve. Eve bit the apple. And ever since then, we've been trying to can it. But it can't be canned. It's open. It's open. The, the, the myth of Adam and Eve cannot be canned. Everybody tries to can it and come up with some doctrine or philosophy or viewpoint or even to say it doesn't mean anything. That's canning it. Whatever you think something is, is a canning of it, you see. So we can the juice, the juice of life. We can the juice of life in viewpoints, believed in. For instance, I was, um, I've been kind of like... Uh, getting the juice out of Killing Eve, I'm watching it now for the third time, uh, because there's so much juice in it. And I love apple juice. And so every time you get a new squeeze of juice, you see, uh, of course, apples don't squeeze juice, but every time you, <laughs> I guess if you're gonna make apple sauce, uh, you gotta squeeze the apples. But anyway, uh, it's thick juice, it's thick juice. But uh, let's not get picky here. All right, the idea is that we like to can reality. We don't like reality to be open. We don't like reality. The reality you see. Um, damn it! I didn't put my mic on. Excuse me. I got a I got a sign right there. It says Mike. <laughs> get so excited, I forget. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. All right, so uh, let's carry out the metaphor. That's what's so a living, you know. Let, let's make it your metaphor. If it's your metaphor, it's living. If it's somebody else's metaphor, it's dead. It's canned. It's on a shelf. You could pick the you could pick the dead metaphors you like. You know, there's all on a shelf of. But if it's a living metaphor, then it's your juice. You're getting juice out of it. Some movies like uh, um, uh, the, the Zorba the Greek. My God, I watched that in 1963 and I'm still getting juice out of it. Avatar. I watched that, uh, I don't know when it came out, but I'm still getting juice. I wrote a, I have a page on Avatar, The Voyage to Pandora. I've been getting, I've stuck squeezing juice on it for a cup, you know, for some time, but it is full of juice that I keep getting out of it. So a living metaphor or a living myth, a living movie is something that keeps giving you juice because you don't can it. You haven't closed it off and said, oh, I know what it is. That's it. Let's go to find something else. You don't look for something else. You just keep finding new juice in it. Mm, you keep squeezing it, you see. And the only way to do that is to not can it. So why do we can life? 
Well, we want, we, we want to know what it is. We want to get a conclusion. We want to get um, something we can hold and, and argue about and believe in. For instance, you know, I've been, I have a friend of mine, actually a friend who um, got me interested in watching Killing Eve, and um, she's been uh, turned on by it, getting into the fan clubs, I even wrote a little play on it. I'm Jody Comer, and, and uh, in other words, she's really living it, you know. And so I was uh, uh, sending her emails of my uh, ruminations on it, you know, my discoveries. <coughs> and she and she wrote back, "No, you're not right." You know, in other words, I wrote this, and she said, "No, it's about women." Well, fine, it's about women, but she had canned it. She canned it, and now it was her viewpoint, and, and she got upset when there was a viewpoint that had a, had a different can, a different, you know, and so there was, a, you know, when you have a viewpoint, a belief, you know what it is, you can it, and now other cans are, a cha are you know, threatening, you know, I'm the one, my can is the one, too, can of, a, can of apple you know, I'm Mott's, <laughs> or White House. You know, I'm the best one, the only one. All these are lesser cans. So, so once we can something, uh, now we're in a defensive mode, we're in an argumentative mode, because there are always going to be other cans on the shelf, each one saying, I'm the one. You know, so we're in a constant defensive mode now. We've lost the deuce. We've canned it, you see. So how do we stay, how do we keep the juice flowing? That's the question. And of course, the juice is how do you keep yourself flowing? How do you keep yourself from being canned? Another word for canned is being judged. Being judged and put in a can that is absolute. This is it. We do this all if you just look at reality. I have a friend of mine who, with one hand, is, is a beautiful, uh, open, mind. But on the other hand, when it comes to politics, he's canned. You know, so we have we have areas where where we're open, but then we have a little place where we can something and then invest in the can, our viewpoint, and then go to war with other cans. Uh, you know, and so uh, anyway, this uh, the idea is that a metaphor Myth and movie, M and M and M, three M's. <laughs> myth, movie, and meta. Myth, whatever organ, whatever order you put them in, it's all, it's it's the Trinity, it's the one that is three. Okay, myth, movie, metaphor, because they are either dead, which means they have a sealed viewpoint or label or understanding or belief or philosophy or whatever you call it, and it's canned. Or it's still open. If it's still open, it's living. If it's still open, it's you, not out there. If it's if it's somebody else's can, somebody else's belief, somebody else's viewpoint, it's canned. And you can buy that can if you want, and then and then join and then defend it. But if the can is living, it's you. You are the living juice. You see. You are the living life. You are alive, not the cans. So if you can anything, you're canning yourself. If you can anything and can any movie, you say, oh, I know what that movie means. What? You said it's that. No, you're wrong. My meaning is the true meaning. Your meaning is false. And I, oh, oh, but I give you the right to your meaning, but still it's wrong. <laughs> Anytime anybody says, oh, well, I give you have the right to be right to have a viewpoint, the implication is that my viewpoint is better. You can't say that you have a right to a viewpoint if your viewpoint is, is no different from the other viewpoint, because then, you know, it doesn't make any sense. But anyway, so the point here is that when you have a great movie uh, that's got a lot of juice in it, for me, uh, like Life of Pi, see, I, I don't watch many new movies now. I'm sure there are plenty of good ones coming up. 
But for me, uh, uh, I, I keep my my cans. <laughs> uh, and, and the most recent can or movie metaphor myth is killing killing Eve. Um, I can't find the bottom to it. Keep coming up with, oh, I got it. I now I know what it means. Now I, no, no, that's not it either. You see, so the can is open. The can cannot be closed into a fixed viewpoint, a conclusion, you see, where you know what it is. When you know what anything is, you've put it in a can, you see, and that's not it. And this is why I love Zen. Zen is the can opener that keeps opening cans, my cans, keeps opening me, so the juice keeps flowing. If you close the top and seal it, there's no more, the juice doesn't flow, life doesn't flow through it, it's not living anymore. It, it's a dead can. I think Andy Warhol was trying to talk about that with his soup cans, you know. So keeping your life alive means don't can anything. You can't help but can something, but just keep the can opener handy. Don't seal it, you see. Keep it open. There's more. There can be more. There is more. There's always more. There's always more insight. There's always more juice. Nothing is closed. So, and this is why there's the, the uh, uh, in the Bible, you know, don't judge, you know. Well, don't can it. <laughs> it's okay to have a viewpoint, to get a perspective, to get a conclusion, to get a, oh, I know what it is, you see. I do that all the time. I just don't can it. I don't, I don't seal it up and identify with it and stabilize myself on that can. Say, we can life because we want something stable. There's nothing more stable than a can. There's nothing more solid than a can. You look at the can, I know what it is. I got it in my hand, you see. So we're always trying to can ourselves so we can know ourselves and stabilize ourselves and not just be a wellspring of water, you see. We wanna, we wanna put the water in something so we can hold it and give it form. But if you get to the root of the well, if you get to the wellspring, it's always pumping water. It's always new, you see. But we try to can it. Catch it, put it in a cup, put it in a form. Oh, I know what it is, that's the form of it, you see. And then we label it, and then we try to sell it as the best form. And then we have to ward off the other cans. You see, we get into throwing cans at each other. <laughs> we throw memes at each every meme is a can, you see. We throw cans at each other. Trying to get rid of the challenging can. It's a good way to look at the world now. It's a can fight. <laughs> but it's up to you to discover the source of the juice that flows that we try to can. You see, there is no end to life. There is no end to you. There is no end to your juice. But if you can it, there is. But that juice is still coming up. It's going to create pressure. It's going to create tension. It's going to create a dissatisfaction with the cans. It's going to create this unhappiness, this incompleteness of your life that is all canned up and put on the shelf, you see. So if you feel that sense that there's more to life than what's in my can, follow that. There's where you'll find the can opener. <laughs> Thanks for dropping in.